What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yeah, it kind of got a little scary. I didn't like it. I really didn't. And, well, we caught ourselves a Rotom. I don't even know if it's, like, a legendary or anything like that. I don't even think it counts as that, because, like, you guys already know, later on it becomes, you know, a very, very useful item for Pokemon. I don't even know. I don't even know if it counts as a Pokemon. So anywho, here we are in the cycling road, and as many of you guys already know, we got business to take care of right here too, and uh, well, you are a challenge by Cyclist Axel. Let's go right ahead and take on this Cyclist, and well, let's go with a Magical Leaf. That's right, and that's how we do it. Electro Star, level 18. Let's go ahead and take away that tackle attack. And well, now we're gonna be moving on forward. We're gonna be battling a lot of trainers right here, guys. And, yes, as always, we're going to be speeding it up because, well, it feels good to speed up uh, every single kind of battle, especially in the Sinnoh region. So here we are taking on Megan the Stallion, and, well, we're not going to be facing that. And, well, off screen, I did give Electrostar our Spark, or not our Spark, but our, our what was it called? We gave it the experience share. That way it can grow just a little bit faster. As you guys can see, Endeavor, Endeavor, the attack, kind of messed us up a little, so let's go right ahead and do that. Let's go with that. Let's go with some potions right here. There we go. That's right. Let's waste some potions. And let's go ahead and start battling some trainers right here. And this guy's like, ding, ding, watch out. Watch out, you. Or did you want to battle? I intentionally wanted to do it. So let's go right ahead, take it on Cyclist James. And here he's coming out with a Ponyta. And well, yeah, that's not really going to work. Now, a few episodes ago, I caught myself a Ponyta and named it Blaze and never really used it. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. I kind of went back on that Pokemon because it was like, okay, so what was the point? And well, here we have both of us are on bikes. Yes. All right, let's go right ahead and keep on battling. And yes, we keep on shooting the, right, the wrong Pokemon for this. So Electrostar, let's get this, go with a Spark Attack, and just like that, we grow to level 19, and it, well, it's coming out with a Starly, so there we go again, and another Starly, there you go, and just like that, we win. Yes, sir. Okay, so, yes, we're going to be battling everybody. We're going to be speeding it up, and uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some stuff right here, B big, big stuff, and... Yes, we need to switch out our Pokemon real quick. So let's go with Electro Star, and looks like Electro Star is going to be doing some business right here. And just like that, Rosemon grows to level 20, and here comes a Staravia. And wow, it got paralyzed. Obviously, it has Endeavor. And there we go, Electro Star at level 20. Alrighty. So let's see. There is a Pokemon trainer waiting for us, and I kind of have a feeling that this Pokemon Trainer will have some kind of a messed up Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and take this Pokemon Trainer on. A bike will carry you a long way. The only thing that limits you is your own endurance. Does it? Does it really? Okay, so here we go. Take it on Cyclist Ryan, and he's coming out with a Shinx. God dang it. Yeah, just when you think you know everything, and, well, that's how, that's how much I've been playing this game. All right, here we go. Let's see what you gotta do. Some people compete over speed, and some people compete over technique. Which kind are you? Now, in the old Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough, you would be seeing me go piece by piece, guys. Episode per episode, on place by place. And, you know, now that we can actually play this game with a little bit of a tempo, yes, we can cover a whole... Like, we can cover so much ground in just a short amount of time. And many of you guys, you know, you guys have been liking it, so... I'm gonna keep on doing it, and well, here we have a Pikachu looking all mean, and that is not gonna work. So let's go right ahead and go with Rosemon and go with a Magical Leaf. It will never fail, and Electro Star grows to level 21, and that's how we do it. Alrighty, so there we go, guys. We have reached the end. This would have normally taken about 15 minutes, and well, if you talk to this lady, what's a cycling or bicycle without this? You've got to have a flag. It's a Pokemon accessory. Hmm. A Pokemon accessory. Okay, so... Thankfully, we're not going to be doing that. Let's go right here and grab ourselves some raspberries. And grab this. And there we go. We got some raspberries as well. Now, this, w this place will lead us straight to round 207. 
close to Orberg, Orberg City, or Orberg Town, so let's go right ahead and... Oh, wow. Never mind. Huh. Okay, so that was that was still growing. How in the heck does that happen? Okay. Okay, so we gotta water these little suckers. Because apparently, yes. Okay, so we still need to grow. Yes. Never mind. Okay, so this will lead us to Orberg City. And, uh, well... First is first, guys. We kind of want to do something, so I'll be right back with you. I got to go heal up the Pokemon real quick. Okay, so now that we're here in Orberg City, I kind of want to cover something right here now, guys. So, there is a specific spot here in uh, the, well, in this in this area right here. What was it called? The Orberg Gate. And uh, it requires you to have a bike. And now that we do have a bike, if we could just do this, we're going to go in and see what we can actually get because I believe there is a specific TM right there that you can actually grab that will be beneficial to us so going down here and we are talking about the slopes right here next to the bicycle or the cyclist right here so what you need to do is if you want to get a little bit of speed go ahead and start breaking some rocks and then we're gonna turn around not do that and, well, of course, our repel has to wear, out, wear off right there. So, let's go right ahead and do... Not do that. There we go, and we have to do this again, and there we go. As you guys can see, we get ourselves the TM31 Brick Break. This is going to be beneficial to us because, well, shoot. We're going to be facing quite a few other trainers that, you know, are going to be freaking tanks of people and all that stuff. And there we go. We have controlled everything. Okay, so let us go back to the exact spot that we left when uh, we were out on the cycling road. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in Route 206. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going straight right here under Cycling Road because, well, there's quite a few things that we want to cover, including this. We're going to be taking on a few... Uh, Geodudes and all that stuff, and, uh, well, let's see. There are items right down here, and right here you'll be finding yourself a burn heal, which will actually come in handy. And, well, let's see. Yes, we're gonna be taking on some more Pokemon right here, too. This is, it, it is very obvious that we are after something, and if you talk to this guy, this is odd. I heard that there are two caves in Route 206, but I can only find one entrance. That is why... We're here, and, uh, well, first is first. Let's go ahead and grab these items. And there it is. And let's go ahead and grab those, and, well, let's go... Let's not waste any kind of repels. Let's just spring it through, guys. Obviously, we're just saving those repels for something later on, and... Here we found ourselves a super repel. And uh, that right there is a very useful item when it comes to, you know, preventing a whole bunch of people right here, so... Let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Yes, I startled him, and, well, he's going to be coming out with an Onyx, so we're going to be going straight for the attack right here with Poseidon. Yes, and just like that, we are dominant. We are him. And, well, we're going to be getting attacked by these Pokemon right here, so let's see. All right, so there are two caves right here. One is there, and the other one is going to be down here, hidden, and we're going to be going in there. As you guys can see, we are in the Wayward Cave, and we're going to go downstairs, and everything is lit up. You're going to be needing a bike, and, well, a whole bunch of uh, repels, too, because there are going to be some Pokemon that you just don't want to mess with. There we go, and, well, it is very obvious that I am trying to capture a specific Pokemon right here, because... Well, we got some stuff to take care of, so let's go right ahead and find this specific Pokemon. And, yeah, this is not the right guy, but guess what? We're going to be training because, well, it's good to train. It's always good to train right here, guys. And, well, let's see. That's another Geodude. Now, if you guys remember in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, this, this section right here is blocked off. Because, well, I guess the creators of Nintendo already knew that, like, hey, these guys are coming after something. And, well, here is a Bronzor, a new Pokemon to the game that, you know, eventually, well, it was new and all that stuff. And, well, we're going to be capturing it because, well, we want to add to the collection and all that stuff. Now, 
a big must in this in Pokemon Platinum is you have to have you have to have seen all the regular Pokemon into the Pokédex and all that stuff in order to progress to the next uh, well in order to get the national next I think and do something else there's something else that they, that they require and all that stuff so you guys you guys kind of kind of don't want to win the Pokemon League and the next thing you know I have to mess with uh, these Pokemon or don't have to mess with these Pokemon so what we're gonna do we're gonna go with this and just like that and there we go okay so we're still trying to find this Pokemon and no that is a Zubat okay so let's go right ahead and skedaddle from that and there we go three oh wow okay and oh crap okay so that right there should have gotten us there okay so we might have to go back and well would you look at that it is a gibble now I am looking for a male gibble because I'm, I'm having an all-female team so yeah we're looking for the male gibble I know I'm not being sexist it's just that you know kind of need a male gibble stronger attack and all that stuff in Poseidon yes growing levels and well we're gonna try and go for this Pokemon right here. There we go. Don't lose speed, and there we go. We grabbed ourselves a Max Ether, and well, let's see. Let's go ahead and get attacked by these Pokemon, and that right there is a Geo Dude. Okay, so let's go straight for a Bubbly Beam, and just like that, Electro Star grows to level 22, and well, let's see what we got. Another one. Kind of like DJ Khaled, most annoying rapper ever, or DJ whatever he is. And nope, that is a Zubat. So it's looking like to me that I need to go off screen in order to get this Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we found a Gibble, a male one, and now we're going to try and capture this Pokemon. Obviously, this is one of the most strongest Pokemon out there, especially when it evolves. And, uh, well, I wanted You Shall Be Mine, Gibble, because it's both Dragon and Ground type. That is a very unique typing, and you will you will definitely be needing this Pokemon. So, it's weak enough, I hope. So, let's go right ahead and go with a Dust Ball right here, because, well, yeah, it, we are in a cave. It's nighttime, so that's, that should be, like, quadruple the, the, the effect, right? Two? Oh, no! Okay, so, here comes a Sand Tomb. All right, we're gonna have to start throwing some other balls right here at this Pokemon. So let's go with a nest ball, and that Pokemon is not—it's trying not to get captured and all that stuff. So here we go. Let's go with a Peck attack, and yes, we are at one HP left. And well, this Pokemon is just damaging me. So let's go straight back to crap baskets. Let's go with there we go, a nest ball, and damn it. Okay, and it has Dragon Rage. Okay, wow. Messed me the F up. Okay, so let's go with a Pokemon that can't weaken. Let's go with this. And just like that, we have captured a Gibble. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokedex entry. So as you guys can see, Gibble, the land shark Pokemon, both dragon and ground type, it, attack, it attacks using its huge mouth. While its attacks are powerful, it hurts itself out of clumsiness too. Yes, I know I'm going to be giving, or I know I'm going to be making somebody f uh, happy with this nickname, but everybody, say hello again to our good old buddy, Toothless. After, yes, the Toothless from uh, How to Train Your Dragon and all that stuff. So, yes, say hello to Toothless. Yes. Alrighty, guys, I'll be right back with you. <laughs> okay, so before we're about to leave, this happens. Look at this, guys. Our egg is hatching, and, uh, well, look at that. We got ourselves Togepi. Okay, alrighty. So, that right there requires a nickname itself. So, everybody say hello again to Togepi. Or, yes, Toge... Togepi. Crap it. Pre. There we go. After, you know, the same Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our two newest Pokemon right here. So as you guys can see, here we have Toothless, the Gibble. 
This guy has a bashful nature, very finicky, happily eats anything, and well, as you guys can see, it's a very good physical attacker. Has the sand veil, which boosts its attacks or its evasion during a sandstorm. And as you guys can see, it has a very good move set: Dragon Rage, a sandstorm, takedown, and sand tomb. Now the other Pokemon is Togepi. This Pokemon is from the egg, very quirky, and we have given it the experience share because well, we're gonna be doing some stuff right here. Lots and lots of stuff, and well, very even stat. Has the ability Hustle, which boosts its attack stat but lowers its accuracy. And, uh, well, you guys are wondering about Electro Star. Now, this is the original Electro Star that I have, or have had, in this walkthrough right here. So, completely forgot that this Pokemon I actually got, or I actually, uh, what was it called? Um, I actually, what was it? Uh, taught it. Yeah, I actually taught it Flash, so. That right there is needed, so I had to put the other, the old uh, Electro Star back for just the time being. And, uh, well, let's see, Rosemont 2 has to be uh, put in the back burner for right now because, well, we got stuff to do. And uh, do not worry, we got Pokemon that can actually help us out and all that stuff. Now, off screen, I did buy myself, I did buy myself quite a few more repels because, well, yeah, it's going to be needed. Especially right here. Now, what we need to find is a few items right here and, uh, well, let's see, there we go. I'm gonna grab this, and we found ourselves a rare candy, which will come, uh, well, which will be useful later on. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. Trying to solve this mystery right here, and obviously, we're using quite a few repels, but quite a few. And if we go right here, if we go right here, nothing will happen. So you gotta press the B button in order to get this to, to succeed. And as you guys can see, you found yourself a grip claw. I believe this. I believe. No, that's not the. It's not the move. But yeah, off screen, I actually did capture myself a glider around this area. Not in the, here, but outside the route and stuff. And yeah, there are two new evolutions where you can actually evolve these Pokemon via you know item and all that stuff. So would love to see it. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Crap baskets. Okay, not that. We got to press the B button. So let's go right ahead, go, two, three, and there we go. Okay, so we need to go towards this section right here, and this one, yeah, okay, so, yeah, I can see why they say it's very hard to control. There we go, and here we are towards another area, and yes, we are wasting a crap ton of repels right here. So let's see, going down the middle, and here we are. In this section now we do have a Pokemon with flash so let's go right ahead and use that flash attack and we will locate the TM 26 earthquake this is a very powerful move oh my god I cannot wait to start using it so I will be right back with you guys we are gonna be escape roping and going towards the other section of this place right here Alrighty guys, so here we are outside of uh, where we were at and well as you guys can see we're walking and now we're going towards the visible cave that way We can start this whole thing off now again This is the original Electro star right here and the, Okay, the reason why I switched them off was because you know I like catching their uh, different Pokemon with different pokeballs That's kind of the reason why and uh, well what you need right here is a Pokemon with rock smash now we will be going up against quite a few trainers. This is the reason why we gave Togepi, uh, why we gave Togepi the experience share because this is going to be a place where it's going to be growing and hopefully we evolve it. That way we can re uh, then later replace it. So let's go right ahead and do this. And well, let's see. Actually, let's just go with double battling. I don't want to like. There is somebody here that you can actually have to meet up with, and so there we go. And we're gonna go down here, and of course, we're gonna be running out of repels pretty cool, pretty soon right here. So, I'd say by the time we're done, yeah, there's gonna be no no more repels. And here we have these guys. So let's go ahead and speed battle these guys. There is a heavy emphasis right here in uh, double battle. So let's go right ahead and do that, and do this to that, and that defeats this guy. And Togepi is starting to grow levels. As you guys can see, level 6 already. 
And we're going to go bubble beam onto this guy, wing attack onto that guy, and there we go. So more levels for Togepi. And frustration is going to be kicking our butt right here, so let's go with that guy and that guy. And look at this, Togepi, just living its life, doing nothing. And just like that, Togepi grows to level 10, learning Sweet Kiss. So there you go. He already learned, already got, grew 9 levels right there. And here we get ourselves a TM32, which is double team. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Again, you could, you could go through this whole area with a partner, but... There's a big butt right here, and uh, that that usually means that yeah, there's an individual right here that you know that can help you. But look at this, we're gonna be battling with our good old buddy uh, Toothless, so we're gonna be speeding this through right here. And like I said, like I said a few episodes ago, it's much better to speed this up than to spend a whole hour just doing it. And well, look at this, Dragon Rage, and wow, oh my God. Okay, so that was messed up. So, yeah. <laughs> we completely survived right here. So, yeah. Okay, so there we go. And just like that, Togepi grows to level 12. And that was pretty messed up. Let's see if I have a revive right here. Yes, okay. So we got a revive and two rare candy. So, not this. Yeah, so let's go with that. And let's go with a super potion right here. God dang it. Okay. Damn it. See, this is the reason why we... This is the controls area right here. So there we go. And let's go ahead and continue on right here. Holy crud. I probably should have used... Uh, probably should have kept Rosemont for this one right here. Because, yeah. Now, eventually we're going to be switching out Pokemon. Pokemon that we don't need. Pokemon that, you know, have served as their purpose. Obviously, we got Togepi here for a good reason. And, well, let's go with Bidoof. And... Here we have two Pokemon trainers, and we're going to speed it through. And here we got Apom and Apom and Psyduck right here. So let's go with the Dragon Race to this guy, and bam. Okay, Water Pulse hits us. And let's go with that. Dragon Rage again, and just like that, we win. Okay, so Toothless is going to be struggling just a tad bit. And here we found ourselves another revive, which, well, just in case, you know, Toothless faints again. We're going to give that to him. Okay, so there we go. And let's go ahead and speed this up right here. We're going to be running out of repels pretty soon here. God dang it. <sighs> okay, got to love repels. Got to love repels. Okay, so let's go right here. And let's go down here. I may be missing some items. And there we go. We found ourselves an escape rope. And let's see. We're going to go right here. There's nothing. And break that. And we can go down here. And this one will lead us towards... Let's see. And, okay, of course, our repel is going to be wearing off like crazy. Now, we do have a super repel in stock. And... Okay, so this one will lead us straight up to an area right here where we need to go. And let's go ahead and start battling everybody right here. So here it is. Gibble and... Oh, God. Okay, so Bubble Beam. And this guy is tempted to use Dragon Rage and Sandstorm. So technically, Dragon Rage onto that. And Dragon Rage onto that. Okay, so our... I guess our evasiveness has gone up, and, well, just like that, Togepi grows to level 14. Okay. Now, there could be an item right here somewhere. There we go. We found ourselves a blue shard. And we got to go up north right here, because this is where we're going to be locating an individual. And, well, there goes our super repels. Our repels. So let's see what we got. Right here. And there is the individual that's been looking for us. I'm Myra. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. And here is another individual that will be riding with us. And of course, she will be healing our Pokemon every single time. So let's just let's just go ahead and like let's go ahead and look at it. So our Pokemon are not damaged yet. Hold on. Talk to her and well, she is the she's very good with minimize and all that stuff. You guys should check out her Pokemon. It's ridiculous. Okay, so 
think we got one more trainer or one more pair of trainers to actually battle. So let's go right ahead and use a repel right here and go towards the area where we haven't gone to. And well, look at that. She's not running with us. That's for sure. So we're going to go right here, and this one will lead us to these guys. So now it's going to be one of our Pokemon against, well, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, she's got some, she's got Kadabra with her, so, actually, let's go right here with the Bubble Beam, and Shockwave for that, wow, she, she's actually a good trainer I want to battle with. Okay, so here we go, and Shockwave on that guy, and wow, okay, so, that's definitely, the, that's definitely a Pokemon I don't want to battle. Let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go with uh, Toothless right here. Does not affect us and get a victory on this guy. And just like that, Poseidon grows to level 27. Togepi grows to level 15. And let's go ahead and take away Growl. And just like that, we win. Alrighty. That wasn't even fun for her. And thanks to this individual, yes, our Pokemon are going to be healed. Now, could be wrong. Now, you could use an escape rope, but... You actually have to finish this whole place with her. I trust, trust me, I, I've done it. And here we found ourselves a great ball. So now it is finally time to get the heck out of here. And there is nothing right there. So yes, we are running. You see, this is the reason why this game is so disliked. Because even running looks slow. And, well, there's nothing there. Holy crap. Let's see. Yes, you can't use that when someone's with you. All right, okay, let's let's go ahead and find ourselves right here. Okay, we've been there. Yeah. Okay. So, as you guys can see, wow. Okay, we need to go with that 200. We need to go with that 200 right there. So let's go right ahead and speed it through. 200 is gonna look like 100 right here. Holy crud! And then 100 is gonna look like 50. There we go. And. Wow, why am I walking on boulders? And well, let's go right ahead and use this little sucker. I could be wrong. Okay, so here we are, the exit. Look at that. So she notices it, and she's going to be like, oh, there's the exit. I want to get tougher, so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Draven, bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, so we've done our mission. And, uh, well, that has been the conclusion to Route 206, 206 and uh, what was it called? Uh, the Cycling Road. And, well, let's get the heck out of here. And bam. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to be going east from here. We're going to be going into Route 207 and all that stuff and going into the next town. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive, as always. I do have a merch store, so if you guys want to check out, support the channel by buying some of the stuff, yes, thank you. Uh, the, the stuff is there. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.